what is up y'all happy freaking monday um we are getting ready to go inside the gym here to hit some legs um before we go in i have to let you know something um i have to let you know a very 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 bad news um it might be nothing to be honest but this morning when i woke up um i woke up with a very bad knee pain enough to not be able to get out of bed and enough to not walk or bear any weight on it so my left knee completely um gave out on me this morning not completely i wouldn't say but it was to the point where i wasn't able to walk or do anything i literally cried my eyes out not because it hurts because it's injured and i can't hit leg day so with that being said, you guys, uh, we're going to take it very, very fucking light in this gym today. Um, so you will you will see me adjusting a lot and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. Um, and if nothing works, we're probably not going to do like day for some time. Don't know. I would have to just see um, how the knee feels. I have to rehab um, and just do a bunch of rehab exercises for my knees up until it gets better. Um, other than that... It is a very sad for me because that's the only thing I do three times a week is leg days. And my whole progress is going to go down the drain, in my opinion. So with that change, a lot of changes will come. For example, cardio will go down. Calories are going to go down massively. Not massively, massively. So massive ca um, cal calorie loss and... Just to keep everything in the shape, we would have to adjust a lot. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this workout um, that we are about to get into. And stay tuned. Okay, you guys, this is our second exercise here. We're just focusing on glutes and hamstrings mostly because we can't do any extension work. I'm super, super creep, um, not creep, but I'll be super, super gentle with my knees for right now. Um, I tried squats with no weight on the machine and I could feel like a little stretch. So I'm just gonna take a break from those. We're gonna focus on quad, um, not quads. Focus on glutes and hamstrings. I've already texted that to my coach, and she's going to decide what she's going to edit in my calories and my workouts. Super bummed out, but hey, this is just a minor setback for a major comeback. Um, but I believe that. So 
after doing four sets of each work that we're doing. Going to move to some hyper extensions after. So I'm on ibuprofen right now, um, so I don't know the pain as much because literally this morning I wasn't able to walk. So I can only imagine how it will be after I get off the mat. Um, so this is not a good judgment 100%, but I'm trying to still stay with lightweight and focus on avoiding my knees as much as I can. But yeah, on to hyper extensions. And what's up? So keeping light on my, on my weight and my reps, um, this was like the third set. Super setting it with our abductions again. Do a little different type of abductions here. All right, you guys, we are done with the workout. I'm finishing the last 10 minutes on my cardio, and apparently on the stairs, it's not as bad. Um, this gym does not have a good elliptical that I can actually use. So we're gonna have to do cardio at Planet Fitness tomorrow and find out if the elliptical really does help. But other than that, I'm super bummed, if you can't already tell through my mood. I wanted to lift fucking heavy weight today. I had all my meals prepared last night. I was like, yes, five meals, 250 carbs, going fucking ham in the fucking gym. No, it didn't happen. Um, I don't know how to feel, but everything happens for a reason, and it's better to take rest right now than regret later if something bad does happen or end up happening because of me not taking a break. So. That's the goal. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the workout. I will be back here doing upper body tomorrow and cardio at Planet Fitness. See you later, alligator. Don't forget to get your workout in, get your cardio in, and see you tomorrow.